Hey, what's up YouTube? Quick video to let you know that I just released a new project on my Patreon. It's available as a tier 1 reward and shows a technique to pack circles of random sizes into a large circle. It could be useful to drive some procedural generation algorithm using a construction script for instance, like choose to spawn this or that on circles having a large radius, spawn smaller stuff on smaller circles and that kind of stuff. The interesting thing about it is that it's guaranteed to be non-intersecting, right? So you'd have no overlapping objects. The idea behind it is quite popular and you can find many tutorials about it. I'll link one in the video description below. Anyway, I've built the blueprint in such a way that you could either click a button to generate circles in one go, or press play and watch the algorithm do its thing on tick, and if I do that, you should immediately understand how it's working, right? It basically tries to pick a free random location to spawn a circle, then loops through all circles and tries to make them grow a little bit as long as they don't intersect with nearby circles. Rinse and repeat until the algorithm have too much trouble finding a new free random location and that no circle can grow anymore. Pretty simple yet elegant solution and you could iterate on the ID and build really intricate logic to create complex behavior and generate organic patterns like big trees occluding smaller trees and preventing them to grow too much or too fast, that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's take a look at which kind of settings are exposed by that blueprint. Radius is quite straightforward. If this setting here is set to zero, then a circle can grow up until it's exactly touching another circle. If one, then it stops growing one centimeter away and so on. So you can leave gaps in between circles with this setting. This setting here ensures circles can at least grow to some amount by preventing them from spawning too close to other circles. The higher this setting, the more the algorithm will try to find random locations to spawn new circles at. This here tells how many circles the algorithm tries to spawn per tick. The more you spawn per tick, the more uniform the end result will look like. This prevents the algorithm from spawning too many circles, allowing for instance the few circles that do get spawned to grow much larger. That's a security limit in case the algorithm gets stuck in a loop due to badly configured settings, because the time and iterations the algorithm may take to complete can kinda skyrocket, so please be cautious about those settings. This is the radius circles have when initially spawned, and this is the maximum radius circles are allowed to have. Keep in mind that this is randomized in that range per circle. Right, and this is the growth rate. Now this here is a chance to discard a circle having completed its growth. Meaning it's still here and grows and all, but it can be skipped and not included in the final list. So you can further customize the look and create holes in the pattern. By the way, that list contains the circle's position in XYZ and radius in W, so you could copy and paste this list into your own blueprint and do something with it on construction script to spawn things and stuff. Or you can choose to expand upon that blueprint directly and spawn stuff in here. Right, it's really just a demonstration of that algorithm, so you're free to iterate on the ID. I shared most of the blueprint logic on Twitter in case you do want to build this yourself. Link will be in the video description below. Project files are also available as a tier 1 reward on my Patreon if you want to support me. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and your support. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you like the content. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.